those tires right there, those are the tires to the Expedition trailer. Now, if you haven't picked up two to two, the, that teaser video that I did uh, last week, might've been the week before. So I teased about something else was coming that was really important towards this whole photography trek uh, and adventure series. And well, uh, I'm taking delivery of a Expedition trailer that we have custom being, or I'm sorry, being built custom as we speak right now. Uh, and so these are the tires right here. So that had me thinking about this. Tires are kind of like the tripod for the vehicle. You know, without a good set of tires and so forth, um, yeah, you're gonna be hurting out there. And just as we stress about tripods, tripods one of those investments that you, you really don't wanna go cheap. You wanna get something of decent quality because you look at the investment that you have sitting on top of it. Having a good tripod will assist in getting your camera as still as possible or when you're taking all those shots that you want. Um, and so at any rate, today we're gonna be talking about a tripod that I have not done a review on, and actually it's long overdue. Um, recently I've done uh, reviews on the uh, Peak Design tripod, the Colorado tripod, uh, but I've not done one on the Pro Media gear, which, strange as it is, is the tripod I've been using the longest. I've been using the, these tripods now for a better part of two years, and these things are built like tanks, kind of similar like these tires that I have on the back of this thing. As soon as I drop these tires off here, I'm gonna get back in the studio and we're gonna talk about why I like the Pro Media Gear tripods so much, what it is about these tripods that really stand out, and why I believe these are one of the best tripods that you can get your hands on. So, I'll see you in a couple minutes. A few moments later. Now, as I've mentioned, I've recently done reviews on tripods from Colorado Tripod Company and Peak Design. Now, I'm gonna put a link below to those videos in the description if you wanna check those out. But what I haven't done is a review on two tripods that I use very frequently. Actually, I use them the most. This one right here and the tripod that my camera is now sitting on. That is all gonna change today. Now, I've used the Pro Media Gear TR-344 and the TR-344L for a couple years. Actually, almost two and a half years now. Now, they are my go-to rigs in the studio and out in the field. They definitely have proven their worth over and over and over again. Now, I figured it'd be a great time to do a quick, kind of long-term, wow, that's a, yeah, again, a two and a half year review on these bad boys because every time I get out and use these, I'm reminded that I haven't done a review and it is way overdue. Plus these things are just so darn awesome. But before we get into this review, I do wanna thank each and every one of you for tuning in. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I don't want you to miss any of our future reviews or content that we push out. Plus by subscribing, you can get all the updates on our giveaways. We have a new giveaway every single month with some incredible prizes. And actually speaking of which, in two days, we're gonna be announcing the winners from uh, last month's uh, giveaway and we have some really kick-ass prizes that we're going to be giving away this month So these are something that you're not going to want to miss now with that out of the way guys. We are back So pull up a seat in let's go All right, guys, let's get the party going with a quick rundown of some of the basic specs and features of these tripods. Okay, we're talking about carbon fiber leg construction. There's 10 layers of carbon fiber that make these tripods ultra strong and steady. Both of these have four leg sections. The TR-344, when fully extended, is 59 inches, and the TR-344L, Full extended is 71 inches. There are three locking leg angle positions, and you can be sure, now incidentally, here's something really cool as well. When you're out in the bout and so forth, and you have kind of slippery surfaces, you can be sure that this tripod is going to stay put because each of these legs, look at the size, look at the meat on that, on that spike there. So you have these crazy, uh, hefty spikes that's in the bottom of each of these. So you just kind of pull this out and swap it out and point it the other direction. But yeah, these things are really meant for business. <laughs> One of the things I really admire about these tripods is the precision leg locks. Now these are twist style, as you can see, and made of aluminum to save weight without sacrificing durability. Now coming up to the top to the apex here, these are CNC machined, and these are made from T6061 aluminum. Now my tripods, 
you notice both have the red apex. These are special order. These normally come black. Now the cool part also, these tripods have a 60 pound load capabilities for both of these, which is actually pretty impressive. Now the smaller of the two tripods is the TR344. And of course, as mentioned earlier, this thing will fully extended is 59 inches tall. It also has a minimum height of 3.8 inches for those low angle shots that you need to get. The TR344 is obviously the more compact of the two. It has a folded length of 20.8 inches and weighs in at only four pounds. Now comparatively, the TR344L extends up to 71 inches and offers a minimum height of 3.8 inches as well. The folded length, as you can see here, is a little bit longer than this one. It's 23.8 inches and it weighs just a tad bit heavier. This is 4.3 pounds. Both of these tripods really mirror one another, except obviously the 344L is slightly larger. Now in both cases, these tripods handle like a dream. Now I know there are smaller and lighter tripods out there, but don't think that just because these tripods are a little bit bigger that they are hard to work with. Because of the design and engineering of these tripods is so spot on, you can use these effortlessly in any kind of photo and video shoot. And I know what you may be thinking, Alex, what is it about these tripods that you really like? Well, that's what I'm going to answer here. I'm going to let you know what has impressed me over the last two years with these. Let's start with the pros. Pro number one, engineering. Now, the Pro Media Gear products are engineered by a team of two brothers, and these guys definitely know what they're doing. Now, everything about these tripods, from the apex to the legs to the feet, is perfectly crafted. You know, I'm a car guy, so it's almost like Bentley made a set of tripods, and these things just ooze with craftsmanship. Now let's take a look at the legs for a moment. You know, these are, you're talking about 10 layers of carbon fiber that makes these legs ultra strong, but Pro Media Gear didn't stop there. Now, if you look closely here, you can see that the layers of carbon fiber are cross-woven pattern. This results in best-in-class strength and weight ratio. Yeah, honestly, I can do chin-ups on either one of these things and it would hold me just fine. Now, the locks on these legs were engineered to perfection as well. Personally for me, I like twist-style locks because I know once I lock that leg in place, they're gonna stay locked down. There's just too much at risk with a flip-style leg locks. Now, as I spoke about it a few moments ago, the leg locks are made of aluminum to save weight, but aluminum construction also means that they are super, super durable. You can twist them all day long and not feel the slightest bit of change of how they operate. The same holds true with weather. You can be in 100 degree heat or shooting in sub below zero. Example, both of these tripods, I've shot in sub crazy cold ass temperatures up in Norway shooting the Northern Lights. Just the same here in California. These were just up in Death Valley at 121 degrees, just oven roasting nastiness. And these locks work like a charm in both weather conditions. But I think the best engineering feature of these tripods is the modular apex. I can't find my, my stock mount that came to the top of this, so I have my bowl here, but you would normally have the 3 8 16th thread mount on the top. You have, as you can see here, three quarter 20 accessories mount, and of course my spirit level is in one of them right here, but they go around in all, all the, the edges there, which is really, really nice. And of course, as you can see there, I do have the optional 75 millimeter bowl system to replace the flat top. The bowl system is so impressive that we need to, you know what, we need to talk about that more in detail. Pro tip number two. Now guys, I have the, let me get this out of the way here. Boom, okay. I have the TRBU 75 ball and it might be my favorite part of these tripods. It is, as you can see, it's a half ball, so it sits perfectly inside the bowl of the apex. So the advantage of this is that even if the tripod isn't perfectly level, you can still get the camera perfectly level by adjusting the head. And that means you don't need to fiddle and mess around with the legs at all. And this is a huge advantage. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So as we can see here, this is clearly not straight at all. This thing, if without this leveling head on here or the ball on here, would be forced this way, which means that you need to go fiddling around with the legs. With this, all you do is just simply turn it, and as you can see there, within seconds, 
it is level there for you. Now the head is easy to use. You just twist the bottom knob to lock it in place and you twist the other direction to unlock it. Something pretty interesting about this as well. This will swivel up to 17 degrees in any given direction. Yet doesn't interfere with the built-in level on the tripod, nor does it affect any of the quarter 20 accessory mounts on the side. The head is made of aluminum, so it's not only strong, it's durable, and it's crazy lightweight as well. This thing weighs only 0.52 pounds, but has the load capacity of 100 pounds, which is bonus. <laughs> Okay, number three, durability. Now, Pro Media Gear is based in Illinois, so you have the advantage of using an American-made product that is held to the highest standards of quality. It's hard to go wrong with carbon fiber and CNC machine aluminum parts. Now, I haven't put these tripods through hell by any stretch of the imagination. Well, actually, <laughs> who am I kidding? I beat the hell out of out of these things. And that's one of the things that you can count on with a quality tripod is and this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. The inexpensive tripods, you can go out there and they might last a beating once or twice, but then they, because of the inexpensive parts that they use, they start deteriorating relatively fast with a strong, durable tripod. Man, you can get out there and just, you don't need to be afraid of putting this through its paces. I've had these in all sorts of environments with dust, sand, salt water, and so forth. And regardless where I go and what I'm doing, these tripods, Man, these things are always up to the job and they do it very, very well. These are the most durable pieces of gear that I have in my camera bag and they should be. Now let's talk about the cons. This is not a lip service, but I honestly can't think of anything I would change about these tripods. From a handling standpoint, a design standpoint, an ease of use standpoint, and a durability standpoint, these tripods are about as close to perfect as you can get. I literally have no complaints about these things. Now, some people might bring up that the legs could be a little bit wider. Um, Honestly, I've never had a single incident with stability with these things. Some people may point out the price tag of these tripods and say that it is far too much. However, as I've said many, many times in this channel, in my articles on Photography Talk, a tripod is a investment. There is absolutely no point in buying a cheap tripod and keep buying one over and over again to have them keep breaking down on you. Eventually, you've bought so many of them that you could have just bought a good one right from the first place. Like I said earlier, I've had these tripods for about two and a half years, and that's just scratching the surface of what the terms, or in terms of what the lifespan is for something like this. Now I've switched cameras many times. I've switched to making more videos. I've gotten new lenses and lights and other gear, but the constant over the last number of years has been these tripods. Yes, they are expensive and there's no getting around that, but when you think about how many years of service that you're gonna get out of something like this, it is definitely worth the price of admission. Now, which one is right for you? I initially picked the 344L thinking that the height would be good for me since I'm pretty much a tall dude. But I realized the smaller footprint of the TR-344 was a better advantage for me because I travel so much. Well, not this year, but that's about to change here in the upcoming weeks. So if you're into traveling, I'd opt for the 59 inch version. It's three inches shorter and when it's folded out, it weighs about a half pound less. So it's better suited for traveling. But if you're not concerned about the a tad bit longer length and the little bit heavier weight of it, Guys, the 344L is such a dream to have and that extra length out in the field really does come handy from time to time. Either way, at the end of the day, either one of these tripods is going to be a rock star for you. I know they have been for me for the last couple of years and will continue to be for many, many years to come. Now that you have all the details about what I absolutely love about these tripods, let's switch gears and talk about our current giveaway. Oh, that's right, our current giveaway has ended and we're gonna be talking about the winners here in the next handful of days. But I will leave you with a teaser here. The next giveaway has some amazing, amazing prizes. So in a couple days, you're gonna to wanna to tune in to see what we're giving away. So with that said, if you found some value with this video, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. If you are currently not subscribed to the channel, please, we would love to have you part of this family. So consider hitting the subscribe button while you're at it. Hit that bell to be notified each time that we come out with a new video. All right, friends. I have a new desk that just arrived, so I'm gonna start tearing down this one here and start building the new one. You get out there, have a amazing weekend, and create your best shot.